MTP 63. We're going to try and get more out. Sorry, we've been kind of holed up with work. Um, this one's for James E.C. He says, uh, Dr. Perito, I binge watch your videos, have some renewed hope. Thank you very much. I'm at 72. I've had Peronis for over 10 years. Hear that out, over 10 years. He has a, b a bend of 60 degrees and it's definitely affected his quality of life. He actually has erections. Um, he's looking, he says, he also has BPH and he says, yeah, my plate is full. Plication is an option to reduce the bend, but I don't know to what degree. No pun intended. Um, and then he goes on about what? His loss of penis size, penis shape. Uh, it's not looking like the penis that he had. So I'm very, going to very quickly tell a, an anecdote of um, when I first got out of training, one of the big meetings that we go to, those of us that are dedicated to the craft, and there was a very wise older doctor um, I'm not going to say their names, a very wise older doctor who was up at the podium and he was talking about, um, he was talking about patients with Peyronie's disease and he, he's been around and he's taken care of a lot of people. So he understands what makes guys happy. And he had, <clears throat> he had a blanket statement that really stuck in my head and that blanket statement, I'm not going to use his accent because that will further delineate who it is, but he said, if a guy's over 50, whether or not he's got erections, if he's got Peyronie's disease, he's getting a penile implant. And sure enough, there was, there was a younger, very talented urologist in the audience, dresses very fine, he comes sliding up to the microphone and he says, I think you're rather cavalier, you know, what about, and he's talking about plications and you can look this stuff up and all these different things that are done for patients with Peyronie's, including Xiaflex. Um, which is a new injection. Um, th these are all things that we can talk about further. But he slides up and he asks, how can you say that? You know, and this older, wiser man, only because he had more experience under his belt, said, I take care of the patients that have been strung along and they're not as happy because they don't recognize their penis. And I really, I, I took this to heart and I would, this is probably 10 years ago, I was on one of these and things that where back then you didn't have Zoom. And I was on with at least a thousand Peroni's patients from all over the globe. And I used that line. And I said, I firmly believe that. Because if you look at patients, the patient satisfactions after an, an implant in Peroni's patients, it's significantly less than those that don't have Peroni's. So you want to get to them earlier. You want to get to them before they don't recognize their penis. So take that antidote home. If you're a Peroni's patient, there's a lot of things that can be done. But if you're over 50, get a penile implant. All right. So I love that story. I tell it to all the trainees that come down here. And I'm telling it to y'all right now because uh, that's, what, that's what I believe. So I will see you on 64 uh, very soon. Bye.